All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. So, uh, it would be fun to just get back out on the range. We got the Memorial 3 gun coming up here in the next couple days, which means we had to do some serious cleaning of this guy right here, the VR80. And every time you clean this thing, you have to take the barrel out uh, from the upper receiver, which is attached to your optics. So, that means you got to re verify your zero. And we're going to do a zero at 50 yards. On top of that, I always try to check the zero on that guy right there, my super duper rifle. So that'd be kind of fun, fun to bring you guys along. I might even break into some politics, maybe talk about Richard Hughes and uh, GOA's a lawsuit against the state of Florida for open carry. So let's get on down there. I'm going to pin this up and I'll show you what we're shooting at. And then, you know, I know this might be boring for some people, but you know what? I think it's a lot of fun. It is rainy today, which is why I don't have all my cameras out. And uh, we'll go from there. Let's get on down there and mount that stuff up. Here we go. Stand by. All right. So I haven't done an actually shooting video in so long, man. This is fun. I haven't had a chance to get out to the Mifflin County Sportsman Association. That's my favorite place to go. But we're going to be shooting at the uh, this guy right here. They go eight inch target. And I always go to Walmart and I buy these targets. Or not targets, but well, yeah, I guess I buy the stick on targets and put them on poster board. So we get done with this, we're going to take uh, the rifle on down to the two and three hundred yard and see how it calibrates with the uh, ACSS reticle. <laughs> All right, so I found out what this EPDM material that they have here is uh, better for me to use uh, pens than it is a stapler. So you just buy a pack of pens like that. All right, so at 50 yards, I'm hoping that we're on paper. You never know. So anyway, uh, my good friend C Max from many years ago, God bless him, God rest his soul, uh, used to ask me, uh, <laughs> You ever just go out to the range and shoot? Lately, I've just started doing that, just going to the range. No cameras, just having fun, shooting, relaxing. But shooting and relaxing doesn't pay the bills when it comes to YouTube. So they always want you to put a video out. So here we go. We're going to do that. All right, so Richard Hughes, GOA, are suing the Attorney General of Florida for open carry. And I guess right now, correct me if I'm wrong, guys, from Florida, I think it's the same thing in, in uh, Texas, you have to have a concealed carry in order to open carry, which is bullshit. I remember when I first came up here to, where am I? Pennsylvania. And they had just gotten open carry. And as long as you're lawfully allowed to own a firearm, allowed, allowed by who? The federal government, I guess. As long as you're allowed to own a firearm, you can open carry. And I was just have to basically say, we've had that shit in North Carolina for quite some time. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do this. I don't have the handguard on it because the damn bridge that was holding the handguard on broke on during the last competition. So, you know what we're doing? We're just going to go ahead and shoot it the way it is right now. And I'm using, anybody wants to know, that is the Caldwell Precision Turret. It's the best thing they ever invented for zeroing your rifles. So let's do this. Move this out of the way. Break out a slug. Now... Uh, John Westbrook Jr. and uh, Westbrook Sr. told me a long time ago that uh, these units right here, these are federal one ounce, one ounce, I think they're one ounce, maybe seven eighths. They work perfect in the VR80. I don't have the magazine with me, not really care about the magazine because I'm going to be loading one at a time anyway. So let's uh, put some Ear Pro on and see how good this thing does. Let's see what I have in my pocket. I ain't playing pocket hockey. All right. <laughs> Here we go. All right, so today, when we're first starting off, I'm going to use these Fiocchi. These are 1,300 feet per second. I just want to see, uh, make sure I'm anywhere, somewhere on target. I don't want to use my good stuff, so that's why we're going to do that. Um, what else did I say? Oh, my SWAT comps that I have had for I don't know how many years gave out on me. And uh, I literally wore the rubber off of the, uh, the wires. So I'm going to contact them, see if we can get some kind of a replacement or at least a deal on a replacement. But in the meantime, uh, these are the Isotune Sports. Now, I won these in a grab bag at, I think, Battle for the South or something. But, you know, for right now, they will su su uh, suffice. So, throw something in here. Now, on the VR80, the gas tube is up here, and it reciprocates back and forth. This is a good opportunity for us to take a look at this whole operation right here. And uh, see how it works. But let's see if I can put this thing on paper. I'm going to use my little deal here. Here we go. You heard that. 
And it's on paper, but it's down low. So, uh, yeah, and that's why I don't like using these shells because they don't like the operation here. But for just making sure we're on paper, let's see if we can land close. So uh, bottom right about a foot and a half below where I wanted to hit. carbon on that thing so it gets a slide. Let's just run a bunch through here and see what we do. Oh, by the way, I'm running the Timmy trigger in this one. It's about a three pound pull on it. They're really crisp. So where that matters is when you're shooting spinners really close. Uh, you can boom, 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 boom. You can shoot them fast as hell. One. Hey, I need two, don't I? Yeah, yeah. I, I can't pick it back up. <laughs> 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 hey! There it is. two inches apart uh, just below the uh, target that I'm looking for. All right. You can hear them bad boys hit. Nice ejection. What we'll do is let's roll down there. I'm going to cover those up with some pasties. I don't think they're going to be big enough, but at least we can see. All right. I'm kind of happy about that with the exception of the failure to extract, which is no big deal because I didn't expect it to. All right, so back to Richard Hughes and the GOA thing, okay? Uh, North Carolina has always had open carry. It's the beauty of it. I believe they're just a little bit of a more of a two-way state than anybody, but now they got rid of that whole situation where you had to have a permit to purchase a handgun from the local sheriff. Now all you gotta do is go in there and go through a Nix, which is good. Work in the right direction. Now we can just go to the counter. For instance, my wife's from Sweden. We go to Sweden. They sell suppressors over the counter. She asked me, she goes, you should buy a couple of those while we're here. And I go, yeah, I don't wanna go to jail. How about that? <laughs> all right, let's see how we hit here. Not bad, it's not bad at all, actually. Um, so that was the first round. I forgot to bring stuff with me. And third and fourth. So we got five rounds right here. Honestly, guys, uh, if I could hit these targets, this, it's shooting better than I will out in the competition world because you're usually shooting at a gong that's pretty nice size, okay? So what we want to do, I've got the, these recorded. I know where to hit. Uh, where's, hold on one second. Watch this. My trick my dad taught me years ago. Of course, he didn't have the Microtech UDT. Let's just draw circles around that because I'm not like, carrying a pen with me right now with our knife so we know where we hit. I can just circle both of those. And we know this guy was number one. Ha! We're having fun. Now, this is what I'm talking about having fun back on the range. Here we go. All right, back to the suppressor store from Sweden. I told my wife, I said, well, here's the problem. If I buy one of those things that we're stopped in customs, and I get caught <laughs> trying to bring that across the border. Guys, you know what happens. I'll probably spend uh, several years in jail. Um, I don't know, he'll get de deported back to Mexico. No, wait a minute. If I was from Mexico and I came in with, across the border with a suppressor, hell, they'd probably give me $50,000 on a place to live. How about that? <laughs> All right, so this is actually for the money, guys. Uh, these things are not cheap, and I really don't want to have to order more spend more money than I've already spent uh, probably got about 500 rounds of uh, the uh, one and eight ounce 100 1145 
feet per second uh, AA Super Sports. They run like magic in this guy. And uh, honestly, it's just, it, this, it is like magic. So let me see if I can get this thing squared up. Okay, here we go. All right, ears, these things ain't shy of being loud. All right, here we go. That landed at a six o'clock position, and as you notice, it ejected. Um, please land. Oh, wrong one. Oh, big shout out to Carson. Met out here yesterday. He was running these guys right here, the double A, uh, no AAC precision rounds, and uh, we talked about uh, different requirement, different things. Barrel like certain ammo, and uh, I think he was running. Uh, a Palmetto State Armory barrel and he does the tactical games and he's going down to the sawmill right Carson that's who it was and I finally remember that and uh, he's shooting that thing in th two weekends from now all right here we go one more time and if I know if it lands right where I'm supposed to please all right uh, I know that I need to aim at 50 yards right just at, on an 8 inch target I need to aim uh, top of target because that thing's landing pretty good um, I'm not displeased with that one more I can afford one more right because I got I got enough all right here we go all right this time I'm gonna aim top of target I'm done. Uh, you know what? I might bring it just a little left. I don't know. We'll see. What we'll do is I'll probably order a couple more boxes of this. Eh, yeah. That's all I'm going to tell you. We'll re-verify when we get out there. Have fun. Let me share it with Blake Wilkes. Uh, Greg Flirts. Ah, somebody's coming down. I'm <laughs> just going to leave it alone. And then uh, that's it. So uh, let's get on over here take the uh, three gun rifle out to 300 yards and see how that hits and then we're gonna go over and we're gonna zero it in with uh, the uh, Legion X5 after I cleaned it real well with my hand loads and see how they work out to 25 yards all right let's get over there see how it's fun are you guys having fun I hope so all right guys so uh, sitting over here this is the my baby man this is the <laughs> this is the mag daddy of all three gun rifles in my opinion and I tell you what between primary arms the boys over there at optics planet uh cmmg because that's what i'm running their uh this is their charging handle uh arisaka proof research ultra dime all those guys play a part in this specific rifle and thanks to those guys this is the best rifle i have uh what we're going to do today i just want to double check to see if we are on at 50 yards because typically what happens is and then 50 yards it goes your round goes up and it comes down 50 yards here equates to a 200 yard zero out there that's why when you're shooting in the interior of those two you aim low uh, 100 yard target you're gonna aim bottom of target 125 yard target you're gonna come up a little bit same thing with the 85 yard target I have yet to learn that shit while I'm out there so today we're going to be testing out the 77 grain Callaway Ballistics. <laughs> oh boy, how over there. I'll tell you what. And uh, they do a great job. So uh, discount code, free shipping on orders of $200 or more using the KB32 TAC. Just give me a call. I like those guys because they're, uh, they are a small operation. Now I'm shooting at the game lands, so they're only allowed to put three rounds in here so let's go ahead and put this down see how we look at and basically I'm shooting at the same target that we shot at earlier with the shotgun so this is the 128 platinum this thing's awesome and, and again this is the Callaway not the Callaway but the
Yep, perfect. Now, I want to be just a little bit high, and I'll tell you the reason why. I don't know. Demetri told me I need to be a little high at 50 yards. <laughs> this is a 1 on 8 twist barrel, 16 inch, proof research, carbon fiber wrap barrel. But guys, this whole rifle with the optic is less than 8 pounds. Uh, Lancer tube, ace, uh, what do you call this thing? Stock thing. Uh, and die, trigger tick diamond zero creep. This thing, guys, it is absolutely incredible. So, in a rush shoot, that was not bad. Uh, right at one MOA down there. Now, I was telling uh, Carson, Casey, Casey, was it Carson? Casey, yesterday, the uh, precision rounds from the guys over at AAC. I'll use that all day long because um, if I can shoot at MOA, it don't matter if it's MOA, then I can run it as far as, as long as the ballistic coefficient and the velocities match up with the reticle on this guy, it didn't matter. So real quickly, let's do this. I want to check this guy out right here just to see if it's still on. Because like I said, the last time I shot was out at the Battle for the South, I think. I can't remember. Down here at the, what do you call it? Clinton House Plantation. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to rotate this thing over, clamp her down as best I can. Let's see. That's fine. A little high and right. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run these things side by side. So the elevation I'm going to shoot, shoot is this. So we're going to use uh, Callaway right over here. Ballistic. Uh, the AAC over here. And the idea, because in the 50 yard target, I was landing right here, okay? And the hell's that noise? All right, so anyway, the idea is I'm gonna use the 300 yard post on the ACSS reticle. We're gonna put it right here. And I wanna see if it maintains trajectory and it should hit right there for each round. 77 grain. Let's see how it works out. Here we go. This is always fun. This is fun. All right, so let's get back to this. Hold on, let me shorten this up a little bit. <laughs> let's get back to old Richard Hughes and Gun Owners of America, G-O-A. Richard Pratt, Eric Pratt, sorry. Uh, I'm real proud of you guys. Go after it, okay? Protect our rights as best you can. Richard, way to stick your balls in the vice, man. Because, you know, you're probably going to have a target on you from the rest of your life. But that's my man. Uh, and I've known Richard for, I don't know how long, IV-88, like the third one or second one. Man, what a fun time. Anyway, um, give old John Crump a big hug for me. Somehow, I was unsubscribed from uh, Guns and Gadgets channel. Doesn't surprise me. YouTube with the way they are. That noise was coming from. It was coming from these headsets here. Yeah, I do miss my SWAT comms. I do have a spare set, but I don't want to take apart my fast helmet. Okay, so the right side target, we're going to shoot the 77 grain. This is the guys over there at uh, Cowboy Ballistics. Like I said, one man, or about 10 people. And that's the beauty of trying to help out the small companies. They deliver a good product, they're fast, and uh, that's just one of the reasons why I like it. Alright, so. Alright, here we go. And the cool thing is, and I should have brought one of my good cameras. I might do it uh, next week as I'll bring one of my good cameras. I'll put one of these scopes on it so you can see exactly what's going on. Let me take this sling off here. Right side target. And I don't have, like I said, I'm not bringing my cameras out here. We'll use a rear bag though. I'm rushing it. The rear, we're good. All right, YouTube World, 20 round mag. I guess wildlife people, three rounds. <laughs> we're gonna alternate. We're gonna go ahead and do uh, three rounds on each side. I want to do uh, six. How the hell you? Here we go. Left side target.
I'm not doing any kind of precision shooting here, guys. Uh, I'm just, you know, hey, listen, if I'm on on, uh, on stage and we got a target out at 300 yards, 400 yards, 500, 600 yards, I'm probably going to be shooting one round per second. And Because what you're trying to do is engage the target, hear that dang, and hear hit. And he's off to the rifle stage. Rifle, we have targets at 630, 660, and 618 yards. Hey! Nice. Hey! Nice. Nice, that was a nice long range shooting. Now he's off to short range. Impact! <laughs> right side target. Those things are ejecting straight out the front. We're over gas, but I don't mind that at all. Somebody might mention that. I know that that means it's going to run. Okay, three more rounds. Left side target. We'll walk on back down there. We'll talk a little bit more about Richard. He's a nice guy. He's got his, uh, I don't know if he still has it or doesn't have it or whatever, pilot's license. That's why they call him Flying Rich. Let's get on down there. Don't like the position of these uh, these uh, QD attachment points on this rifle. Another thing that I do when I'm shooting competition, I will label my mags. Usually the 20 round mags are going to be all 77 grain. Uh, I do carry two D60s, D60s, D50, whatever. Two of the mag pulled, the drums. I fill one up with 55 grain and another one up with 77. Uh, at some point, I don't even know why, well, I still have these on, <laughs> but uh, at some point I'm probably just going to start carrying a bunch of those things, the uh, D60s around, because um, you just keep loading them up between stage. I usually try to, hold on, where is it? Alright, so what I, hush, 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 I hate that. So anyway. Uh, typically what I will do is I'll have all my mags preloaded so I don't have to worry about that uh, and then also that way you just have to worry about reloading your shotgun and your pistol mags but the D60 you just keep reloading those things and well guys you're good to go <laughs> and you ain't gonna run out of mag uh, well I say that I've seen uh, my buddy Val go to war <laughs> on a plate rack I've done the same thing let's go down here and see how these targets look uh, no, a little thing is, uh, I was just thinking to myself, it's just because you got 8 power or 10 power does not mean you need to use it. Uh, I was going to go and use that one, two and a half to 10, and I realized I probably wouldn't ever bring it out to 10. Sometimes if we're shooting out the distance, I'll keep it at 7, 6 and a half, 6, just because you can see the splash. If you see dust kick up 3 feet to the left, just 3 feet right, launch again. Because typically you're not going to see a whole lot of difference in the impact or the wind within those seconds I'm getting close it ain't pretty hell I don't even know I can't see if it's not pretty well, we're gonna have to adjust something well look at that we are consistent with the small target Wow Callaway ballistics look at you except for the one round all right, let's talk about this. Um, what do I need to do? Well, I don't have time to deal with it today, so I'm definitely gonna have to bring this thing back out next week. Um, this is a uh, group right here for the, uh, uh, what do you call that? 
the AAC. This is the Callaway Ballistics with one fly right there. But look at how consistent that is. I'd say Callaway Ballistics was a little bit on the more accurate side for this stuff. Um, hmm. I'm going to leave these targets down here. Maybe I doubt it because everybody's got to go out here and zero in all their deer rifles because they, you know, may have changed from last year. But, uh, yeah, we got to come down. So at 300 yards, right, uh, do the math later on, but we got to bring this thing down to here, which is why I might have been missing some targets out the distance a long time ago. All right, guys. Uh, shit, man, we got to do pistol. Let's go do the pistol. Damn it. All right, so... I pulled the turret cap off, and what I found, I gotta bring my big glasses out. This thing is set up a half MOA. So, I think that if we came down, um, and I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm worried to do this because I know that this thing's really, really good. I haven't, I haven't touched it, but I know that if I, I do this, we're going to do this once. So I'm going to record where I'm at right now. Actually, it's 0.4 MOA. So I'm going to bring it down. There's one MOA. All right, two MOA. Bringing it down, two MOA. Yeah. And let's just pop three rounds down there with using the uh, Callaway Ballistics. And let's see where that lands. I know that if I need to bring this thing up, if I'm missing targets out to 600, I know where I need to be. There might be a time for us to shoot out the distance with this thing. Not a doubt. So, head, stuff on the head. And it may take a little longer, but I'd rather have to just get one out of the way. Okay? Right side target. And take our time this time, okay? I know, I know. Take our time, right? I want six rounds. Hell, I'm going to need some ammo. This stuff's pretty hot, pretty cool, pretty good. here and that is the bottom quarter so what I'm gonna do inch and a half uh, let's see 0.7 I think one that oh, fuck one MOA we need to bring it back up one MOA which will put it back about right where it was uh, but that's a good indication I'm not worried about here I'm worried about here okay uh, and at distance we're probably shooting at full size ipsic targets which are 18 inches by 36 and uh, this will certainly get it done. All right, let's go shoot that pistol. Here we go. I don't know if you can hear the wind or not. That might account for a little bit of uh, variance in the impacts. Use them, have pretty lot better luck with that. Um, I need to clean this barrel out. Probably need to go ahead and defoul it. Leave the copper in there. I have some, some uh, what do you call that, bore? Uh, whatever it is. We'll do it later on. All right, well, guys, the uh, pistol range was uh, covered with a bunch of people over there, so I just didn't want to do anything on film. 124 grain, lands right where it's supposed to be. 147 a little high and right. No big deal, at least I know where it's going. So that's the good part. Uh, what do we come away with? Well, I uh, brought the rifle back up one MOA, which is three inches. So that's gonna put it really cool. Now, if I start missing out the distance, we're gonna, we're gonna have to make some adjustments. Shotgun, I'm going to go ahead and bring it up two clicks just for the fun of it. And then uh, that's it. Rich, good luck to you. I know it's a long-ass video, man, but this is what I enjoy doing. It's the first day I've just actually got out, get away from real work, and enjoy myself uh, with that. We always end up like this. God bless America. God bless us, men, women, uniform, 24-7 for our freedom. Freedom's not free. <laughs> Y'all be good.